today we're going to do some deep cold water cranking. Let's do this. Let's do this. talking about deep crankbaits today which I have right here I'm also gonna be talking about another little dude that works really well in cold water that being an underspin I'm gonna focus on this dude and where is it right here and the deep crankbait minus that little piece of wood hope you guys enjoy as a kid I used to do a ton of crappie fishing that was like my main target species when I was younger and I used to go to this lake specifically and fish for crappie a ton especially this time of year because you know the crappie get stacked up on dock pylons brush piles kind of the same things that bass get stocked up on too when I was little I'd throw baits kind of like a road runner similar to this underspin I'd throw you know small curl tail grubs and micro baits like that and every now and then I'd catch a decent bass within the crappie and I always consider that as a bonus I always thought like you know that bass was just there randomly and that I was you know catching them out of a school crappie but the reality is is those bass are there with the crappie for a reason this time of year when the water starts to drastically cool down they haven't completely moved off their you know late summer spots and about a month ago they were here stacked up under these docks like way back under there now they're starting to move off a little bit they're still feeding heavily but they're not feeding on the same things that they were earlier but instead of going out to like a main like brush pile or somewhere really deep i really like to throw this under docks kind of like how i did back when i was about 10 or 12 fishing for crappie and this works really really well because it's super subtle it gets in and out of those dock pylons really easily and it's just an extremely effective technique whether you're fishing deep clear water or shallow muddy water docks you know, this little underspin technique, pitching at docks, is a technique that you need to try if you already haven't done it because this is an extremely underrated bait. Sometimes, even if you are a crappie angler, you'll get the bonus slab crappie using this as well. But uh, I like a bigger pre presentation so I can't exclude catching some of those smaller crappie. And the thing is, those bass are under there with the crappie because the bass are feeding on the crappie. There's a couple fish that we caught yesterday that had, you know, white crappie down their gullet. So they're eating on big baits right now, but a little bait perfect as well for some of these less aggressive fish that are positioned in the shallower waters. Next I want to talk to you guys about crankbait fishing this time of year. Now I do it kind of different than I guess most people do it partially because I fish a lot of deep water and when I'm doing that I'm generally out in the middle of the lake generally in an area where it's kind of open so I have zero protection to the wind. It's not that windy today but just for educational purposes I'm going to show you what I like to do when I'm out in this small boat. I have two anchors one in the back one in the back one in the front and I drop these down each so I can keep myself in position and break apart this area and you'll see why I do that here in a little bit. Also I've got my Croc 4s on right now in honor of Gene Jensen aka Fluke Master who just hit his 100th thousand subscribers it's got the stitching and leather and everything man these are fresh so everything pretty much matters when you're crankbait fishing the rod the reel the line and the lure especially um, I like to pick a bait that's got a pretty heavy duty bill because I want to grind up against those rocks I want to feel that everything that's down there whether it be uh, rock sand gravel brush whatever it may be I want to feel it with this crankbait so I make sure I got a crank that's gonna be able to reach bottom so I get this crankbait that's rated a little bit deeper for the water I'm fishing. So I'm fishing like nine to 10, I'll get a crankbait that dives to about 11 to 12. And in order to get that bait down there, I have to use good line. I'm using 14 pound test Sunline FC Reaction. And the thinner diameter, which is 14 to 12 pound test, will allow that bait to get down to the accurate depth and the depth that it is marketed towards. When I'm making long casts like this, I need a seven foot three rod plus. You know, I'm using a seven three swim bait rod. The reason why I'm using the swim bait rod is because it's got a very nice tip for it and when I get a fish to hit it from behind and put slack in my line I've got a little bit of give but enough backbone to actually get those hooks into the fish's mouth. The reel that I'm using is a newer reel but I found that works really well for cranking. This is a Metanium MG DC7. It's got a 
digital chip in there, as you may be able to hear. That allows me to make really long casts in the wind. It doesn't help as much today, but it still allows me to really get out there very far into the strike zone so I can cover as much water as possible. So I'm just kind of creeping it. I'm making sure I feel everything that's down there. You know, I'm feeling rock right now, a little bit of gravel. And uh, if I hit a rock, rock or I get lodged on there, I'll let it stop there, let it sit in those rocks for a little bit, then I'll pop it out. And generally when I pop it out, I usually get smoked, and that's kind of like a textbook bite. And if they're doing that, you know you're doing something right. 